time for Drew's News, your daily dance across the good news rainbow. And with me at the desk is my little pot of gold, Rossi Ross Matthews. Oh. Hi, everybody. Top of the morning to you. Well, we're kicking off the top of the morning with some news with brews. USA Today reports that beer is getting better for you, kind of. More and more breweries are adding electrolytes to their brews. So you're gonna start seeing new beers infused with chia seeds, mm. bee pollen, minerals, B vitamins, and Mediterranean sea salt. And I mean, you could rock one of these after a long hike. I mean, what are they not? I, I, this is just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I know. They're trying to find an excuse to drink more beer and I'm not buying it. I don't like beer because it, to me it tastes like pennies. It's not for me. Oh yeah, I know yeah. what you mean. But if someone told me that like a Pinot Grigio is something I could grab after the gym, then I'd, you know, I'd bench squat a dumbbell. I don't know. I don't know about working out, but sounds like a motivator. I actually <laughs> love beer and I love the taste of it. So, for real? I love it. I can't even imagine going to like a ball game or anything, and I even drink non-alcoholic beer sometimes. Mm -hmm. It too is like a healthy beer. The only beer that I, I can have is when I went to a Dodgers game, that's all they had was beer, and I put like ice in it. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey does the same thing. Oh my God, that's another him. thing Matthew McConaughey and I have in common. Exactly. We're basically the same person. All right, listen to this next story, Drew. The New York Post reports scientists say that your happiness in your marriage could be directly connected to your genes, <laughs> and I'm not talking Levi. The University of Arkansas studied the CD38 gene in 70 couples and found that those with something called the CC variation were more likely to feel grateful for their partner and to trust them better over long term. And people with other variants, uh, they're not doomed. They just might have to work harder at things like gratitude, trust, and forgiveness. So do you think that there's a gene that makes you better at relationships? I don't have it if there is one. <laughs> I don't. I'm like, I, it, I, but you know, and also if it's genetics, you can look at my entire family history and they weren't great at relationships either. <laughs> so I kind of like, I believe this story. I, I don't know. I, I don't buy it so much. Really? Yeah, but I also am like not qualified <laughs> at all. <laughs> well, let's go study some science, Rossi, okay. and we'll come back with our own hypothesis I'll, I'll and go, observation. I'll go read a book and get back to you, okay? I can tell you this. I am loving our relationship. Oh, God, I'm in this for the long haul, dear. Me too. Yeah. I'm really happy. Oh because we're not sleeping together, too. Oh, yeah. Um, that helps. Yeah, well, yet, <laughs> stay, stay tuned for sweeps. No. <laughs> I love you. That's, see, this is why. Okay, we've been locked up alone for way too long. Is this pigeon hot or not? Say what? No, I'm serious. The New York Post reports that there's a hot pigeon in the city. Wow. Comedian Shelby Lorman tweeted a pic of this foxy fowl and it's gone viral. Science writer Rosemary Mosca weighed in to say this bird is actually part pigeon, part dove, formerly known as the Trinon vernanas. Okay. I'm vernanas for this pigeon. <laughs> and what I needed to know is where did she get those pink shoes? Do you remember, this reminded me of the, the hot duck in Central Park, like last year, that was the big trend. Look, that one. Oh my God. Yeah, everyone was like following that bird forever. <laughs> that duck could compete on RuPaul's Drag Race. Maybe you'll see it next season.